Etobicoke girls softball is an amalgamation of uh, two other leagues in Etobicoke that ran girls softball programs. This is our sixth official year. And prior to that, we had about three years when the girls played as Etobicoke, but we weren't a separate Etobicoke entity. And then we provide a quality program for activity over the summer. And I think where word of mouth has spread and, and people want to play softball. And I've coached over the years boys baseball and boys hockey as well as girls baseball and hockey. The girls are very athletic and I saw a lot when I ran the baseball league, a lot of uh, girls just being cheerleaders for their brothers at the park and they should be playing themselves. So the indoor sessions actually uh, allow the girls for us to work on individual skills uh, versus in the summertime we have a lot of games it's tough to get the practice in. So in the wintertime we can actually work on the little things that we won't have time when we get outdoors. Over the winter we've just been doing kind of throwing and catching, kind of getting our arms warmed up for the season. Here we're doing pitching and it kind of um, gets you ready for the season. It's very important that we have these pitching classes because this is a, a specialized skill that your average house league coach may not know how to instruct on. And so our current instructor, Mindy, breaks the pitching motion down into its components and allows the girls and the coaches to see where mistakes can be made and how they can be corrected. I've been pitching for at least 25 years now. I actually started out as a catcher and then at about the age of 12 I decided that I thought I should start pitching as well and then went on to play college ball in the U.S. down in Georgia. I came home and actually started coaching. Steve and I like to run a 10-week clinic. In softball it's windmill pitching so it's full arm circles with the feet and the power using their legs and the wrist snaps. I think what got me interested in pitching is I used to watch a lot of Jays games with my grandparents and my mom and dad and it looked the first Blue Jays game I went to, I saw how fast and how neat pitching actually was. So I think I wanted to try to do it myself. I think it's important for students to come to this session because they can hone in on the fundamentals, what they really need to focus on. My daughter Heather, she's a pitcher for novice age right now and she's been pitching for five years and it's just repetitions after repetition is how you get stronger in this and she's pretty committed and it shows. By going to these clinics it's really helped me improve my skills and like just getting ready for the season and making sure that when it comes to season I'm not out of shape so right when I go into season I'm ready. It's so rewarding to see the girls pick up on the skills and, and take it to the next level. This is a great sport to help with the girls' self-esteem. Picking a bat up, being able to swing and hit a pitch that comes in almost 60 miles per hour. That's a real confidence builder for a lot of girls. It just really boosts your confidence and um, makes you feel like you're part of something. The coaches are great, the girls you play with are great, you're constantly pushing each other and learning from each other. I play pitcher or third base and I like pitching because I like to strike people out and third base it's like a fun position and you play a lot. The hard thing about being a catcher is the pressure that is on for you because like you have a lot of pressure on how to throw properly and if you miss the throw then it could count as another run. If somebody comes home and you catch it then it's an out and you can have a better chance of winning the game. I've learned a lot about hitting better and, you know, that skill. And I have had this habit of moving my arms too much back when I swing, but then I've kind of improving that more. This winter, I've learned more about grounders and how to field it properly in left hand, right hand, backhand, front hand. During the indoor clinics, I've learned lots of catching skills to improve my catching. Well, I've been working a lot on my pitching, of course, and also like batting. It makes me very, very happy that from each year, not only are we progressing in a 10-week session, but we're progressing in every single year for the association. I think softball is a great sport because despite the fact that it's a team sport with all the benefits of a team sport, it also involves a lot of individual skills that uh, 
force a girl to actually, uh, to use a, a baseball terminology, step up to the plate. There are a lot of instances where you can't rely on your teammate, it's your turn to bat, or it's your turn to field that ball. And so it teaches personal growth and, and strength to be able to do that and to accept you know, failure when you can't, you've got your team with you in that. I think it is a really good example for the girls in other aspects of their life. It's been very special to me. The girls are fantastic, they're really nice. My daughter Leah and I have been able to bond and it's been a great experience. And it's been a great experience working with the other coaches and all the parents. And you can't ask for more than that. You know, they're having fun, they're making friends, they're learning a team sport, they're learning skills, and they're having success on the field too. You know, so it's all amazing. The playing season at the park begins the week of May 12th this year. It runs till the end of August, and then we have playoffs the first two weekends in September. Starting at the youngest age groups, they play one game a week and one practice, and gradually the ratio changes to the older girls are playing more like one and a half games a week, and correspondingly less practices. We accept registrations right up until the start of the season this year, where we have many openings in every division level. The only way to register is through our website. There's a registration form on there that they would email me. We'll continue to accept registrations right until May. In fact, even after the season starts, if I have openings on teams. I mean, I've been doing this for 18 years now, and I've met a lot of really good people that are very dedicated to the community through coaching and organizing. They take part. I've met a lot of good uh, kids and parents. I've coached a lot of kids that have gone on to university and jobs and, and been successful. And, it, you know, it makes me feel good. It's not only the girls having fun with another group of girls, it's also the parents. You're making friends throughout the league and start giving back to the community. So it's all positive. We're like a family. This like team, it's not just a bunch of people just together. Like We get to know each other and we're all just one big family. 